Right guys, good afternoon. We are back at the Podpoint um, charging station um, where my lead got stuck last time. So today, or yesterday, I actually got a new lead. Um, I got my lead back, my original one back. If you hadn't seen that other video, go check it out. Um, and I got a new lead, which is from a company called EV Bits. This one is different because it's got a switch which you can switch basically i think it's called the cp line um, on and off so you can actually make it appear to the charge station that, that there's no lead connected so you remember the problem that i had last time here where my other lead got stuck it's basically because the charge point thought that there was a lead connected even though my car had finished charging or effectively like i'd just unplugged the car from the charger because i didn't want to sit around any longer waiting for it to completely finish so yeah I'm going to give this one a go today and <laughs> hopefully it won't get stuck. Right guys, car is charging. So with this pop point thing, you have to you have to confirm the charge with a um, with like an app. And then I think that's I'm not sure, but I think that's when the, that's the point that it actually locks it in, but it, the charge terminates in 15 minutes unless you confirm it on the app. Alright guys, so now I've got a stupid problem where my phone's not connected to the internet. So I've got two bars of 4G as well. So this is one of the reasons, I'm not just making this up by the way, but this is one of the reasons why um, confirming with an app or confirming with a smartphone is just not, just not good, especially if you've got to use the internet to do it. So I've managed to get it to come up here. So you have to go into there and then confirm the charge. And I'm just going to go up to the, go over to the edge of the, go to the side of here and see if when you click when you push the confirm button does it lock the charge on at that point didn't seem to make any noise all right just had a little coffee stop just gonna check the car see that 72 percent in there just let that roll got a couple of other things to do all right guys time to check out if the uh if the little charging lead's gonna work hello mate how you doing, you alright? It's on charge. I was just looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Careful, you could, yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm alright. I'm just making a video as well. Oh, well, I bumped into the right guy. That's the, um, the car park guy that helped me get the charge point, um, helped me get my charge lead out last time. Something about here, it started to rain again. Right, let's see what we can do. Right, so we're at 91%. I'll tell you what, these things charge pretty quick. Right, so I need to stop this charge. I don't think there's any other way of doing it other than uh, using my little key. Right, you ready for this, guys? Key's in. Ah, yes. <laughs> nice one. That's the one, guys. That works perfectly. So, there you go. Right, so on the app, it says it's available now, which is good. I was just wondering if it's, like, confused the uh, charge point or something, because there's a little red thing flashing on there now, but... Um, hopefully not. I mean, I contacted Podpoint about this and said, look, I, I want to be able to charge the Twizy. It's an electric vehicle. Why don't you support it? I haven't had any response yet, though. Right, that's me done round here. I think I'm going to go and pop and see my parents now. So they are six miles away, um, and I'll probably blag a charge off them as well, just to top me up, because the return journey will be 25 miles back. So it's not too bad, but... I think I'll go back this way on the way home. It's quite a sort of... Just been on a dual carriageway, you certainly notice how much power it uses when you're trying to maintain speed, especially when the wind's blowing against you as well. This is my home area, guys. Stansted Abbots. I need to get across this train line before a train comes on them. Right, got a nice little charge at my mum and dad's. It's quite good. Just topped it up about 15%, so not too bad at all. And uh, now just heading back. I'm sticking to the um, I'm sticking to the back roads as I was saying, um, which is pretty good. I'm on 70% battery now, and I've got 32 miles, showing 32 miles range. So I've been hacking it as well. I've been just hacking through these back lanes quite quite briskly. So yeah, it's working well. 